Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the new multi-window control functionality available in FixMe IT version 4.5. This is a handy feature that offers you effective multitasking capabilities along with greater flexibility when you need to work simultaneously with several client machines that have different screen or network settings. With multi-window control, you can open up multiple remote desktop windows on your screen and perform various support operations on a number of machines all at the same time. Now let me show you how this works. Let's say you've already started two remote support sessions with different clients. Click on session one and run the remote desktop control operation. Pull down the remote control window, then get back and do the same for session two. As you can see, two separate windows will open up on your desktop, allowing you to view and control both of these machines simultaneously. Now, each of them has its own screen settings and network configurations, and the best thing about multi-window control is that it allows you to adjust each window individually according to your own preferences or based on the local settings. For instance, you don't need to see everything that happens on screen 1, and the resolution on this machine is higher than yours. All you need to do is quickly install a program or transfer a file without slowing down the machine. For that, you can choose to scale this remote desktop to window mode. As you don't need to see the screen in greatest detail, you just need to see the whole desktop in front of you for the convenience purposes. Now let's transfer a file, any file, from this machine by simply dragging and dropping it onto your own desktop. You'll see the progress bar at the top of screen 1, which will show the expected duration of the transfer. As soon as the transfer is completed, you'll have the file on your desktop. If you don't really worry about the appearance of the remote screen, you can even set the image quality to high speed. It's going to fade the wallpaper, but it really depends on how you want to operate. You can set it to the original size, and this is going to bring the window back up in full size. Now let's go to screen 2, or session 2. If you need to adjust certain window settings on this machine, you may want to set the image quality to high quality and set the window to optimal view. That's going to expand the remote desktop window, but you can also adjust it back to the windowed mode. You can easily navigate the screen by using the scroll bars located at the left side and at the bottom of the remote control window. Now let's scale a second screen back to window, and we'll try and drag and drop the file we transferred before onto this remote desktop. Click on this file and drag it directly onto screen 2, and you'll see the progress bar at the top of screen 1 first. Then the progress bar will appear at the top of screen 2, thus letting you know when the file transfer is completed. That's the neat thing about this new mode, as you can now easily transfer files between different clients. When working on the multi-window control feature, our development team dedicated its greatest effort towards ensuring clipboard sharing privacy. This means you can share your clipboard with session 1, but you can't go to another window and paste the same information or file without copying it again. Let's see how this works. Let's create a notepad file and write some text, like fixme.it for example. Now let's copy this text and paste it in the address bar on screen 2. Then switch to screen 1 and try to do the same. As you can see, the paste option will be grayed out. As the clipboard data remains fully isolated from session 1 to ensure the maximum level of communication privacy. If you need to transfer the same clipboard data to screen 1, you'll need to go back to your notepad and copy and paste the text again. So this basically covers the new Fix Me IT release, and we should have more new videos coming soon. Thank you for watching, and subscribe to our channel for more product demos and how-tos.